Hello boys and girls, Elias here uh, with another uh, unboxing and uh, overview for you. Uh, it's the uh, Predator 240 from EK Water Blocks. Uh, most probably you all know uh, EK Water Blocks and uh, you all think that uh, they make radiators, maybe water block for your cards, uh, water blocks for your CPU. You'd be right, but uh, not only and not anymore, just uh, modular parts. Uh, EK Water Blocks decided to get on a train with all these guys that make uh, the pre-filled all-in-one uh, water cooling uh, setups and this one is uh, the, the first product in this range uh, in this segment that they decided to release and to be honest I'm uh, really impressed just you know before tr even trying it uh, it looks uh, very nice for me that you know, I have tried a lot of all the, almost all the Corsairs all-in-one uh, closed-loop water coolers, including the latest GTX uh, models, and also tried the Intels and from other brands. But this one looks very solid. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, see what we have. Uh, but before proceeding, just some uh, measurements for you, so you have an idea. So the length of this uh, cooler is uh, 295 millimeters. So you need to measure it before uh, adding it to your case to make sure that it fits. Then it, it is uh, 68 millimeters tall. You need to make to also make sure if you're gonna stick it to the top of your case that there is enough clearance between your motherboard and the uh, case top where you're gonna screw it to not to, in order not to uh, uh, you know damage or just cover your motherboard and it uh, it is 133 millimeters wide it has everything pre-installed so you don't need to install neither the the fans which is uh, very nice of them because uh, you know, it, it's taking usually taking more time to screw them all in, and uh, it's nothing that I mean helps you or helps benefits you from something. Uh, you just stick it to 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 your radiator. And uh, another reason why I think they they've done uh, the pre-installation is because the pump from Mickey Water Block, yeah, it's here, so it's not integrated with the water block, the CPU block, here, but instead on the radiator itself. So the, the block itself, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a modular standard uh, Supremacy MX water block, and here you can see the liquid flowing. Uh, the fittings are quarter inch uh, standard fittings. The rubber is very thick and nice. Um, very good to see someone at least providing this kind of nice uh, and moisture rubber so uh, it doesn't get dry easily. Uh, the fittings can be changed and uh, you can also add more radiators uh, to your setup to run from this setup. Uh, there is another one which is a bit uh, longer, 360 millimeters, uh, as opposed to this one which is 240. Uh, but Depends what you want to do and what you would like to cool with it. Uh, if you don't need to cool anything other than the CPU, then you don't need a larger radiator because it's not going to provide temperature difference uh, on your CPU. But rather get it if you if you need more cooling and you have more um, components to cool. For example, your motherboard, um, your chipset. I mean or your graphics card, which you would like to add to this uh, setup. The back plate, uh, the screws, tension screws, and then the water block, the contacting part is made of uh, copper. Um, then you have a standard fan controller here. Uh, so according to the manual, uh, there are these two cables, one you connect it to the radiator here to provide 
the power for the fans to to turn. And then you connect this uh, two pin connector on the radiator, and then connect this part to your CPU uh, fan controller, so you can monitor the uh, the speeds. Then we also have a uh, thermal paste, a uh, ectotherm uh, paste and tool to attach your radiator with these screws to your, uh, to your case. So, um, it's good to see more uh, contenders, uh, more companies participating in this business because uh, it is important and the water cooling is much more sufficient than air cooling. Uh, and it's good to see companies like IKEA Water Blocks to join this uh, party because uh, they have huge experience in uh, cooling area and uh, we are the ones that are going to benefit from it. So uh, thanks for joining, joining this party, IKEA. Uh, I hope you like this video. I'll try to do some tests with this uh, CPU that is going to be coupled with. It's the uh, Intel Haswell Extreme. Uh, 5930K, which is a 6-core, 12-thread uh, CPU. Um, I'll see what temperature it runs at and uh, share uh, some um, maybe screenshots and stuff with you so you have an idea how this uh, radiator performs. Um, unfortunately, I have nothing in my hands. Uh, I have uh, I did not manage to uh, run any tests on uh, EK Waterblocks Predator 240 uh, cooler. The reason is that on 13th of January, EK Waterblocks released a recall announcement. Uh, I sent it back, but after three weeks, I had no information from them, so I had to cancel the order uh, because I couldn't wait for, for any longer. I will wait for the revision to, to be released to make sure that everything's okay and then get and uh, test it. So guys, EK Waterblock made a nice move to release an all-in-one water cooler, but they failed. But uh, the, big, the biggest fail for me is not that they, uh, you know, uh, had to recall it because, you know, it's not a bad thing. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, but the problem is that when you do it, you need to have a proper support. So if you don't have a proper support and it takes you more than three weeks to uh, respond to a customer without even letting the customer know uh, how, how long it's going to take uh, to fix the issue, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, I think it's, it's wrong management for me. Anyway, um, I'm sorry for the lack of the figures, but uh, I'll try to get the revision two as soon as possible to supply you with uh, all the data. Um, until then, thanks for watching this video and um, if you guys had uh, any bad luck with that cooler, because I tested the system but uh, could not you know, run it in uh, any longer because I was uh, risking all the other components to, uh, you know, from, from leaking liquid. So guys, Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye now.